We keep things rolling here on the Sports Cubicle. I'm your host, Mike Mercado, and this was some interesting news in the NBA that hit the newswire, and it has to do with two pretty big injuries for different reasons. Why don't we start with one that's going to impact the playoffs and ramifications for possibly who's going to come out of the Western Conference, and this comes to us from CBS Sports, James Herbert. Carl Anthony Towns, injury. Timberwolves star out indefinitely with torn meniscus per report. Minnesota Timberwolves, big man. Carl Anthony Towns has a torn meniscus meniscus in his left knee and will be sidelined indefinitely, according to the Athletics' Shams Sharania. Towns, 28, is averaging 22.1 points, 8.4 rebounds, and 3 assists this season. Last month, he played in his fourth All-Star game. The Timberwolves are 43-19 and the number one seed in the Western Conference. Only the Boston Celtics have a better record, and Minnesota's plus net rating ranks third in the league behind Boston and the Oklahoma City Thunder. If Towns is out for the remainder of the season, it is a significant blow to the Wolves' chances of advancing deep in the playoff. Towns has spent the last 24 hours gathering opinions, according to the Athletic. Towns is hitting career-best 42.3% of his three-pointers this season and is Minnesota's second-leading scorer behind Anthony Edwards. Towns scored a career-high 62 points against the Hornets on January 22nd, though it came in a loss. So, obviously, this is a, a you know, it's a bummer because the Timberwolves are having such a nice season. Carl Anthony Towns is such a good player, and to see him kind of put it all together and, you know, especially his personal story and everything he went through over the last few years and losing family members and the health scare and to see him bounce back and Minnesota bounce back and how much fun it is to see him and Anthony Edwards play to, you know, to to lose him and to lose him so close to the finish line of the regular season when you've had such a successful season for the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is a blow. And uh, hopefully, you know, he's able to bounce back and it's not too significant of an injury. And we'll see how long the Timberwolves are able to make a run in the playoffs and put themselves in a position that they can get Carl Anthony Towns back and what a big boost that would be come playoff time if they're able to sneak a series or two and be able to get their one of their biggest superstars back onto the lineup but another injury that hit the news wire that really piqued a lot of people's interest in the NBA this comes to us from Jack Maloney on CBS Sports Ben Simmons Nets guard will miss rest of season due to lingering back issues. Brooklyn Nets guard Ben Simmons will be out for the remainder of the regular season due to a nerve impingement in his back, the team announced Thursday. This is the same issue that the 27-year-old Simmons has been dealing with all season as all parties involved are still trying to determine the best path forward. This is the full statement from the Brooklyn Nets. Ben Simmons will remain out for the remainder of the season while he consults with specialists and explores treatment options for the nerve impingement in his lower back. Simmons, along with his representatives and the Nets medical personnel, are currently in discussions with numerous experts to determine the course of action that will provide him with the best opportunity for long-term sustainable health. Again, you talk about such a bummer, and what's unique about this is obviously the Brooklyn Nets are going anywhere, and for somebody like Ben Simmons, this is really just to not only rehab his career and, and, and an image that he had from being such a high-end sodded out prospect but to rehab his actual health and maybe whatever is going on mentally when it comes to playing professional basketball he is going to be a fascinating case study 10 15 years from now not just what he could have been there's a lot of what could have been and he was awesome played like 81 games his rookie year had like 16 points dude's like 610 he's a freak of nature you know but what happened becoming famous and and becoming a celebrity and who he dated and the injuries and the speculation of wanting to take the shot not wanting to take the last shot and then the injury bug and what was real what wasn't real and everybody having an opinion on it ben simmons is going to be a fascinating case study but it's another roadblock in his journey and it's going to be fascinating it's going to be an uphill battle for him he is so talented though that somebody will take a chance on him next season but for Bulls fans here locally they see something like this and this is where it's such an interesting dynamic because unlike Ben Simmons I think Lonzo Ball if given the opportunity would take that last chance though despite any type of injury any type of hesitation would put his body on the line and it's not fair that Ben Simmons doesn't have that courtesy doesn't get that leeway at least to a lot of sports fans and I only use that comparison because it's here locally it's what we know but it just goes to show perception's reality and hopefully Ben Simmons can bounce back and be a productive player in the NBA but some interesting news in the world of the National Basketball Association let us know your thoughts what do you think about these two huge injuries as we get closer and closer to the NBA playoffs we're on Twitter at Sports Cubicle TV we got more coming up next I'm your host Mike Mercado you're tuned in to the Sports Cubicle on WCPT 820 AM where facts matter matter.